bright lights, you're trying to see where you're going about to have an accident. And in the church, we have so many folk who are trying to shine brighter than Christ. I'm in this house today. Preach, pastor. Then I'm going to close right here. Says holding fast to the word of life. So that in the day of Christ, I will have reason to glory. I will have reason to glory because I did not run in vain, nor did I toil in vain. Says if we're going to stop complaining, we must cultivate our communication. We must cultivate our conduct. And finally, he says, cultivate our communion. And that is simply saying we must commune with the word. Watch what the text says. The text says holding fast the word of life. This word holding fast suggests it's in the present tense, meaning it's a continuous action, suggesting that I've got to stay in the word all of the time. See, when I stay in the word, I don't have time to complain. See, see when I stay in the word, I find reasons to rejoice. When I stay in the word, it gives life to my dead situation because it says holding fast to the word of life. You do understand that this word gives life. It was Jesus who is the living word. Every time he encountered a dead situation, he turned the dead situation into a living situation. You don't believe me? Ask Mary and Martha when he said, show me where you laid your brother Lazarus. They said, well, Jesus, he's been dead and it's no longer. You, you can't do anything for him. He said, I don't care how long he's been dead. Just show me where you laid him. And when the word showed up, that which was dead became life again. He says, where did you lay him? They said, well, here he is. He says, Lazarus, come forth. And then he says, loose him of his grave clothes. Because when the Lord, I said, when the Lord, I said, when the Lord showed up. Hey, 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 there anybody here know that the Lord will uh, bring life to a dead situation if, wait, wait a minute if you don't believe me ask that widow of name in Luke chapter 7 she was on her way out of the city with her only dead son but Jesus the word of life when he showed up the Bible says he stretched out his hand and when Jesus stretched out his hand that which was dead uh, came to life again if you don't believe me ask Jairus when he showed up to the house of Jairus they said well Jesus sir, is all over the girl has been dead Jesus said well I need some of you all to get out of the room and he said Talitha Kuma and he said daughter arise and that same day a girl uh, got up again if there anybody here knows that when the word of life showed up uh, he can turn dead situations uh, into living situations. So you ought to stop complaining uh, and start praising God. Uh, and I don't know, I don't know about you in the room, but I thank God that he changed uh, my situation. Uh, oh, uh, is there anybody here uh, can pray the Lord? How he changed your situation. I don't know about you in the room, but I bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. And if praise is in my mouth, I don't have time to complain. So I get up in the morning with praise on my lips. I go through my day with praise on my lips. I lay down at night. Now I lay me up down to sleep pray the lord my soul to keep if i should die before i wake pray the lord my soul to take i'm still praying him when i go to bed at night what i'm simply saying is if my day is a field with praise i don't have time to whine or complain is there anybody here can pray the lord then he said uh, that then when I get to the end uh, and when Christ they show up, uh, my work uh, would not be in vain. Uh, I don't 
want my work to be in vain. So every time I get a chance, I'm going to pray the Lord with all I have. Every time that I get a chance, I'm going to lift up holy hand and tell him thank you, Lord. Every time that I get a chance to pray the Lord, I'm going to praise him with all that I have. Is there anybody here can pray? See ya! See ya! Just tell him thank you. Do I have anybody in here can just say thank you? Thank you. Just touch somebody and tell them, tell them thank you, Lord. Touch somebody and say, neighbor, I won't complain. 